The Miami Dolphins offseason just got a whole lot worse as it appears former head coach Brian Flores is suing the Dolphins, NFL, and the Giants. All of this currently is still a fluid situation but it appears that Flores is claiming racial discrimination in his lawsuit that was filed earlier today. In his suit, he makes an allegation towards Stephen Ross that could put his ownership in dire uncertainty. Flores alleges that Ross told him that he would pay him 100k per loss in 2019. Something that Flores was not willing to do. In fact, he did the opposite. Flores claims that Chris Greer relayed to him that Ross was not happy that Flores was trying to win. That alone will bring a major investigation from the NFL but the suit also claims that Ross, in 2020, tried to get Flores to meet with an undisclosed top quarterback behind the scenes, going so far as to set up a lunch date on a yacht with Flores and Ross. Flores contends that the quarterback in question was coming to the marina. Flores said he left the boat. This would indicate potential tampering by the Dolphins owner and that too will draw huge repercussions from the NFL that will likely include lost draft capital and more. For now, I will be honest, I'm not sure I 100% believe that this is real. That being said, it is now being discussed on most of the major networks and local media are reporting on it as well. Stephen Ross is in the middle of his fourth head coaching search and this very well could be a massive hit to the credibility of the team in the hiring of a head coach. With free agency in March it will be interesting to see if impending free agents will want to return and whether Miami can continue to build a team with players from the open market. A lot will depend on what happens with this lawsuit and the allegations being made. In addition to the information that Flores is providing against Ross, a text message exchange between Bill Belichick and who he thought was Brian Dabble but actually was Flores is also included in the filing. Note. The Miami Dolphins have not made a comment regarding this lawsuit but the New York Giants have made a statement which validates the legitimacy of the lawsuit existing. Marathon Miami Dolphins interview with McDaniels likely leading to hire. The Miami Dolphins held their second interview with Mike McDaniels on Monday and it apparently was close to an all-day affair. The Marathon meeting could lead to his hire. While many fans still remain divided on who should be the next head coach, it appears that McDaniels is the guy who is the frontrunner today. The Dolphins have yet to cancel a second interview with Kellen Moore who is slated to meet with the team today or tomorrow. McDaniel brings a lot of potential to the head coaching position and fall from a Kyle Shanahan tree that has put several coaches into top jobs that made it to last week's championship game, including Sean McVay whose tree now includes Bengals head coach Zach Taylor. Intriguing as McDaniel is, he fall in line with all of Stephen Ross hires as the owner of the Miami Dolphins. A quasi-genius at his job and never having held the position of a head coach. The same was said about offensive guru Adam Gase, defensive guru Brian Dabble, and offensive line, Packers offensive coordinators Joe Philbin. All of them fired after only a few years. Will McDaniel follow the same path? Maybe, maybe not. In his interview it has been reported that he spoke very highly of Tua Tungavailoa, someone the Dolphins are hoping the next head coach will want to work with. McDaniel reportedly told the Dolphins executives that he can win with Tua. He also reportedly said that he sees a faster tempo offense and that he would want to make Tua quicker. Of course, Tua was able to get the ball out very quickly, in fact one of the fastest in the league. How he can increase that speed will be interesting to see. If it works at all. The Dolphins have a lot of work to do and with McDaniel, they probably will retain most of their defensive coaches. This too is something that the Dolphins have said they wanted to do. Whether or not McDaniel works out or not won't be known for a few more years but it appears that this is the direction that the Dolphins will go.